a bottle of rum. Where's that treasure back? Arg, what's up everybody? It's the Pirate Stacker coming at you. I'm back. What is today? Thursday. Holy smokes. I'm on a roll. We are talking about gold. I got some in. And rum. Let's get some rum in first. Because now that I've found a delicious and tasty rum, I enjoy having this rum shot. But I can't get this cork out. <laughs> ah! Man, talk about pirate error. I'm going to have to loosen it up next time. Ah! It's coming, it's coming. Got it. Do you hear that little pop? <laughs> They're not tighten it so much. Uh, cheers to you guys. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I know I am. Life is good. And I wanted to talk a little gold with you. Cheers to you guys. Drink them if you got them. Mmm. Tasty stuff. So, gold, I got some. Gold's going crazy, right? War in the Ukraine. Everybody's, everybody's freaking out. Sanctions on Russia. And what's everybody talking about? They're talking about Russian banks investing heavily into gold as their dollar collapses. Well, theirs is the ruble. Uh... How come we're not seeing a bigger jump in gold? Gold did reach an all-time high. That's amazing. Uh, that is probably due to some of that panic and some of that buying going on. Personally, the metals market is so heavily manipulated in my mind uh, that, you know, there are powers that be. They don't want to have to give people their gold, silver, whatever when this thing goes bonkers. All those, all those paper hands out there, people holding paper gold, paper silver, you know, the price goes up so high, people are gonna call those in. And, uh, and, and the big banks, they don't wanna pay it. So, yes, I think it's manipulated, but it is exactly the reason we talk about stacking, inflation. You know, this is a hedge against inflation. Your money loses its value. You have this stuff on hand already, you're in a decent spot. It, it's pretty stable. Uh, it goes up in value as the, as the paper currency becomes worth less and less. Now I scored these, I got them off of a Facebook group. Uh, 2021 Kangaroo and Kookaburra, they're just tents. I'm not a big baller like some of you guys out there, but uh, this is my whole gold stack. I'm starting over. I don't know if you watched me last year. I was collecting one tenth a month. It went very well. Then I opened up Prep Spot. I cashed them in. Gold was easy to cash, and that's what I like about it. Uh, the tents have premiums. The smaller or more fractional your gold is, the higher the premium. That's just life. Uh, you'll get that back when you do sell it. So that's the upside. Um, I got this on Facebook. Look, buying gold is sketchy anyway. Uh, but why did I do it? Well, the cheapest one tenth I can currently buy on JM Bullion is $261 to my door. Uh, these I got for 225 each. Now, amidst this big rush, obviously 225 is better than 261. It's not better if it doesn't show up. <laughs> so this is part of being active in your community. Uh, I'm active on some of these silver and gold sites on Facebook. I see who sells a lot. I see who has a good rating, a good reputation. So I'm able to make some of those decisions, some of those purchases, and, uh, and, and weigh those risks to where it's worth my while. So 225 each right now, that's a good buy for me. I'm happy to pay that and get it into my stack, uh, you know, like everybody else. Look, there is, I don't know if you guys watch him. Uh, there's a guy, Neil McCoy Ward. He is a financial advisor, super smart guy. 
uh, invests in silver and gold, but he has stocks, real estate, the whole thing. He actually had one of his bank accounts with three accounts in it, bloop, disappeared, closed. No explanation, no this, no that. All they could say was there was suspicious transactions, according to them. Lots of transfers and such. And uh, this guy, I mean, he's, he's a legit big deal. And he's been fighting to get his money back. They literally just closed his accounts, took his money, no explanation given. He walked in to go at, use his accounts. And they're like, oh, you've been closed, sorry. No explanation. He's having to go through the government to get that money back. There's crazy things going on in the banks. I'll tell you my own personal story. We did just sell our house. We got a big check. Bank verified it. We couldn't get our money for two weeks. Two weeks. And even then, they would only give us a little bit of money at a time. And we had to book a time to come back and get more money. So if you think you've got access to your cash, you don't. That's the game banks play. And, and believe me, it's one of those things, you know, they, they pass their own legislation. They have what's called a bail-in. At any time a bank sees fit, it can hold the funds and it gives you shares in their deadbeat bank. <laughs> what does that mean for you? You get a share in something that you can't eat, you can't sell, you can't do anything with. Uh, it's garbage. So be wary. I'm just saying banks do not work for you. You work for them. And that's the way they like it. They get your money. Uh, just I'm not saying pull your money out of the banks. But you better have some other money available too. Other options. Uh, you know, bank with multiple banks if you got a lot of money. Whatever the case may be, I'd spread it around just for safety's sake. In any case... I'm trying to get gold at a decent price. The rest of you probably are too. Uh, spots at 2009 an ounce, I think, right now. Uh, it was higher, it came down. It's doing the fluctuating thing, it's gonna do that. But truthfully, you know, the world is as volatile and unstable as I've ever seen it. I'm happy to get some gold into my ranks. Thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. We are coming back at you, and uh, we will see you all next time. Pirate out. <laughs>